Hello and welcome back to Expo Hope channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to read a checkbox from a PDF using document understanding framework. In my background, you have got a PDF and in this you can see there are multiple options which are given to the customer and you like to understand which one he has put a checkbox, right? He might have checked on this, he might have checked on this. So how will you pull these kind of information? How do you know, how do you read a checkbox is something we are going to learn in the document understanding. So let me first of all run the project which I have built and I'm going to let you know from the scratch how to build that. So let me quickly run it. Okay, so I have already have the output. So you can see uh, I am taking only these two fields uh, and wanted to demonstrate. So for this field, it is no, right? There is no uh, checkbox. So the value has come as no. For this one, there is a checkbox. So that's why the value has come as yes. So it's a Boolean variable. Yes, for any of these options, if it is coming yes, that indicates there is a check mark. So how do you build this? Let's have a look. First of all, the very first step is we will go to the taxonomy manager and we will start creating the fields for this particular document. So this document is a W9 document. So let's click on add new document, give the document title whatever your PDF name is and let's quickly select this group select which department it falls so right now I'll be interested only on couple of fields not all the fields so I'll just go with these two fields okay so the first one I'll create click on new field so the first one is individual sole proprietor so I'll simply say and give a title to that field individual sole proprietor okay and here all you need to do is select the boolean option okay this is the key we have to go with the boolean option and let me also go with the c corporation i'm creating only two fields you can create as many fields as you need corporation and i'm select boolean okay even for the third one we can go s corporation s corp Operation. So you can just go with as many fields that you want for demo purpose. This three is good enough. Okay. So we have created the taxonomy for the W9 kind of a document, right? So we are good. And then once you do this, we need to go down and in the data extraction scope uh, before sorry before that uh, you have something called classify document scope right so get into classify document scope and here start giving the classification or the keyword uh, so it's a w9 document add any keyword so in this we have a word called w has nine so i'll use this keyword as an indicator and also it has a word called taxpayer so i'm going to give this as a keyword whatever your keywords for your document provide that so that it can it can classify so once the classification is done the very important part now is your data extraction scope where we'll be using a machine learning um, form based extractor okay so let me go look for a form extractor drag and drop that and enter the api key from cloudui.path.com from your admin tab okay so i have shown it all of this in in my all these videos in the document understanding page um, on the document understanding playlist you can watch that uh, so once you have everything set click on the manage, manage template create template and here let's select w9 document and so i will say w9 checkbox i'm giving some template name um, and provide the document sample so all this processes you must have already been aware so i'm going with omni page ocr you can go with any ocr that helps you okay you can try with multiple ocrs that are available you can go with even microsoft ocr and try now the first important area is we need to indicate 
uh, the page one matching info right so I'm going to provide some four or five indicators just hold on the control key and select certain options and click on this so this all these options becomes the indicator for the page one okay now we'll go down we are interested on this three fields individual sole proprietor so which is nothing but all you do uh, this checkbox we are interested right so left click on your mouse and highlight this checkbox okay and once you do this click on custom area and I am going to click on the plus sign okay again see how I am doing now I am looking for the field C corporation so beside the C corporation this is the checkbox so keep your mouse pointer okay if you want to enlarge you can do that in case you are not very comfortable with this size so keep your mouse pointer do a left click okay do a left click on your mouse and highlight okay and leave your mouse and hit on custom area and select which one so this is the field simple similarly for the third one s corporation again do the similar job left keep your mouse pointer left click select the specific area leave the mouse hit on custom area and hit on the plus sign so we have indicated for all these three so if you if you keep your mouse pointer for example individual sole property it is highlighting if you see it is getting highlighted with the red bottom so if i keep it here it is getting highlighted okay so all the three fields are selected wonderful hit on save continue and save so your form extractor is now configured click on the configure extractor and for the w9 document i will go with the form extract okay simply select this clear so once you have selected everything i am going with the form extractor hit on save let's go to the main one thing i think we missed out in the classify document scope if i get into this configure classifier and here also for the w9 we have to use the keyword classifier okay fine now rest of the process is quite uh, simple you are extracting the data into uh, excel file so i have created i have created a lot of videos how you can extract and store the data into an excel file you can watch them for the moment we'll just stick on to our subject which is how to read checkbox from a pdf using document understanding so let me run it and see if it is able to pull the data properly or not okay again it goes through the various steps of present validation step you know ex um, export extraction so all this specific steps it will go through so now digitization is going on so let's see okay so now the present validation score station has come and you can very well see only for the document where it has a checkbox for that it has got a yes and rest of it it is saying no no right so our data is correct now if you click on save the similar data would appear on the excel file right So it is writing into the excel file now if i go and open that excel file i should be able to have for all the three fields and one of them will have the value as yes so this way you can read the checkbox using the document understanding framework in ui path let me try opening it again okay now you can see the first one has no the second one has got yes and the third one has no that means this one is the area where it has got a checkbox so that is the meaning so thank you so much for watching this guys we'll come up with more interesting contents like this do continue to learn from expo Hub channel please do subscribe and please do like all our contents that you're watching thank you guys we'll meet again in our next video bye bye